everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Welcome back, and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Quinn, I also go by QP, and on my channel I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. So in this video, I wanna share with you guys a haul I got from Express. Now I did get this for Black Friday, I know it's been a while since then, but December has been kind of chaotic. So I apologize for getting this to you guys a little bit late, but I wanna share some of the stuff in this haul because I'm actually pretty excited. So as you can see, this haul mainly consists of a lot of skirts, some blazers, and then a coat. These are some of the items that I couldn't find during my fall haul, so I thought I would try again for winter and also to take advantage of the Black Friday discounts, which saved me so much money. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump into this haul. I wanna talk about the first couple of items that I have on right now. This is the Smocked Cuff Portofino shirt. This is in an extra small. I actually really like this shirt because I feel like it's a very classic design. Um, it really goes with a lot of stuff. And I like that it's not super long either. It's a pretty good length. I actually really like the cuffs on these because a lot of times with dress shirts, I feel like the cuffs always bother me. I try rolling them up and then they come undone and then they're just super fussy. I like that these kind of just cling onto your wrist and you don't really have to worry about them so it makes it pretty comfortable. One thing that I don't really like about this is this part right here kind of um, opens. I feel like this is very common when you have button-up shirts. It's not a huge issue but I have noticed that wearing this shirt. This material does feel pretty comfortable. It's uh, not itchy or anything. I do like it. I feel like the shirt is very wearable um, because it is such like a neutral shirt. It's white, so it really goes with anything. And I feel like that's um, something that I've been looking for. The silhouette of this is also really nice. It doesn't puff out very much. It's not super tight. It's very comfortable. So overall, I do like this shirt a lot. And then the skirt I have on is a high-waisted pleated maxi skirt. Now, this one is really cute. I absolutely love this color. However, as you guys can see, it is very, very long on me because it is a maxi skirt. However, I looked at the hem here and it's actually uh, a pretty easy fix. I've fixed this type of hem before in the past and so I feel pretty confident I can do this again. I actually have a video if you guys are interested in how to hem something like this that I feel like it's very useful because you know when you get in these types of situations, it's nice to be able to alter the clothes and actually have it fit because this skirt is way, way too long on me as is. But once I take it up, I am so excited to wear it because I think it is so cute. It's just such a versatile skirt. I love how neutral it is. I like that it's really gonna go with anything because it's such a beautiful color. I don't know if you've seen my previous hauls, but I love pleated skirts because they're so flowy. And there's just something about wearing pleated skirts that just makes me feel, I don't know, super feminine and like so fun. And I get so many compliments every time I wear a pleated skirt out in public. So I'm very, very excited about this. I also got this in a black. Um, so I'm gonna try this on for you guys and let you know if I like one better than the other. All right, so here is the high-waisted pleated maxi skirt in black. Again, it is super long. This is like almost to the floor. That's how long the skirt is on me. I went ahead and rolled up the, the waist here so that you can kind of get an idea of what this would look like when I do alter it to like where I would like it. So I want it to be probably about like 12 inches shorter than where it is now but I think it has a lot of potential. I think it is so, so cute. It's super flowy and I just love this skirt. Both of these skirts are so pretty and so fun to wear. I'm really into pleated skirts this season and uh, these definitely do not disappoint. I know that these are super long on me so it's kind of hard to envision what they would look like the right length and when I do roll these up, the, the waist is really bulky so that's not gonna be there when I do fix these skirts. So I went ahead and paired the skirt with a uh, bodysuit t-shirt to dress it down a little bit and I absolutely love this look. I think that this is definitely a little bit more wearable than the white button-up that I was wearing before. That one is definitely a little bit more formal, a little bit more dressy and this, especially when I take the skirt up a little bit, it's gonna be a lot more casual and I can actually see myself wearing this um, with something like this. Overall, I just think that both these skirts are so versatile and they can go with so many shirts. I can even wear this with a sweater and have it look 
really cute as well. So very, very versatile. I am really excited and definitely keeping these two skirts. All right, next up we have this high-waisted satin midi slip skirt in the color tan and it is an extra small. Now, I actually really like this color because it kind of has like a peachy undertone, which makes it a little bit more unique than like other tan camel skirts that you see. We're seeing a lot of camels this season and this has a little bit more warmth to it in my opinion. This is a slip skirt, so it has a really nice silhouette. I like that it is kind of in between like a flowy skirt and like a pencil skirt. So it's not too tight and snug like a pencil skirt, but it's not super flowy either. It just kind of falls on the body really well. And for me, I don't have a skirt like that, so I actually really like the look of this. I think it falls at a pretty good length for me. And the fit is overall really, really great. You can definitely wear the skirt with shorts untucked if that is something you like and if you wanna go for a more casual look, definitely doable and it's definitely very cute. So the only negative thing I have to say about this is if you do like tucking in your shirts with your skirts, then this might be a little bit of an issue just because of the material, it's not very forgiving and you can definitely see a lot of the material underneath the skirt when you do tuck it in. Other than that, it is a super cute skirt. And next up we have this high-waisted satin maxi slip skirt. This, I guess, is supposed to be similar to the last skirt that I tried on. However, this is a maxi, so it's supposed to be a little bit longer, and there is this slit on the side here. I think out of all of the skirts that I got in this haul, this one is my least favorite. There's just something off about it. So first off, let's talk about the fit. I feel very like constrained in this skirt. It just feels like it's really tight right here and then it like kind of goes out at the bottom, which in theory sounds really nice and it's supposed to look really nice. It does look really nice on the website, which is why I got it. However, the way that they made this is like super awkward. There's like this kind of diagonal slit on the very front that I feel like just kind of breaks up the skirt. I feel like with a slit, you want to, you know, be able to have your leg showing when you walk because that's kind of the fun of it. And this one just falls so far back that you really don't see it unless like you're just standing sideways. Because of that, I feel like it's a little bit awkward. It's not super comfortable. I don't know. I don't know if it's this particular skirt or if all the skirts are like this and that's just how they designed it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I feel like this is just a little bit uncomfortable. And then lastly, as you guys can see, this is a very long skirt on me and for me I would like to take it up a couple inches. I'm a little bit bummed that this skirt didn't work out but all the other ones did work out. This one actually I was drawn to the most because the pictures online looked really cute but it just didn't work out in real life. All right, so next up we have this herringbone one button peak lapel blazer. You guys, this is so cute. If you have seen my previous hauls, you know that I really like blazers. I've been looking for, you know, just that perfect blazer or just blazers to wear um, that actually fit me and look good on me. And I have an issue with that because right now boyfriend blazers are in, you know, something that is just straight on the side and not super fitted. But whenever I try to find boyfriend blazers online, they are always too big on me. Me. and this one actually is like a nice in between it's got kind of that boyfriend blazer fit where it's like not super fitted but it's also like not super big where I look like I'm just not proportionate with it so I actually really like this I paired it with a pair of uh, heeled combat boots and I think that it's such a cute look you know with something like a blazer it's a little bit on the dressy side so I try to dress it down with something like combat boots a t-shirt you know jeans and I think this is so cute this is such a cute look especially here in like Texas where it doesn't really get cold enough to wear a coat sometimes having a blazer is really nice to just be able to put on and for those kind of in-between weather scenarios. So this is an extra small and I think it fits me like perfectly. I think the length of the sleeves are a little bit on the long side. But other than that, I feel like everything else is really nice and I'm very, very happy with this fit. And this one is the plaid peak lapel boyfriend blazer. This is an extra small and you guys, I love this. I don't know if I like this one or the herringbone one better. I feel like I'm only going to be keeping one of these, but they're both so, so cute. I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards this plaid one. I think that the, the print is just so, so beautiful. I absolutely love the look of this. I think it is really cute, dressed down with some combat boots and then 
again with this t-shirt and black jeans i think it's just so so cute and i can definitely see myself wearing this out to dinner to so many occasions it doesn't feel like i'm like dressing up too much um but i'm still very comfortable and i have a polished look still so i think that's one thing i really like about blazers it's a really nice way to look put together but at the same time you can still dress it down to look more casual and not too out of place so yeah i don't know which one do you guys think do you like this one the plaid one or the herring one let me know in the comment section below because i think i'm gonna have a really hard time deciding the very last thing in this haul is this colorless wool blend car coat um, now, I got this because I feel like it was very unique to any other coats I've seen before. As I mentioned, there's no collar, and then it doesn't have like the traditional like buttons that you find on a regular coat. This one actually has snap-on buttons, and there's only two. So I thought that was actually very unique and unusual, and I kind of like that, and I wanted to see what it looked like. I'm a little bit conflicted with this coat because buttoned up, which it's kind of difficult to button by the way um, buttoned up I think that actually looks really cute it has like a really interesting silhouette it has a really like fun look to it but then when you unbutton it it just is a little bit too loose and I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of that super loose look with it unbuttoned with other coats because there's like a lapel there's a collar um, it kind of you know stays open and so it looks a little bit better with this because this goes in it just looks a little bit awkward and i can't tell if i like that or not and so i'm still on the fence about it um, but i think that this color is really nice i like that it doesn't have a collar up here i don't know i don't know how i feel about this part though when it's unbuttoned with that button i do like it i think that it is so unique and it's um i don't know there's some there's almost like a statement piece right because it's unusual the fit is really nice. This falls just below the knee for me, and I feel like this type of coat, it's actually not a bad thing. I kind of like that length on me, so I don't think I need to like take it up or anything. The sleeves are a little bit long on me, but that's an easy fix. And then the shoulders actually fit perfectly, so I don't have to worry about that. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought. Um, which one of these items were your favorite? Did you have one? Um, and also, did you guys do any shopping for yourselves for Black Friday and take advantage of the Black Friday discounts? Um, I know this is a little bit late for a Black Friday haul, but I just still wanted to share this with you guys because these are really fun and cute pieces. Um, I just posted a Banana Republic haul. Um, I have an H&M haul coming after this, and then I have some shoe hauls for you as well. So keep an eye out for those if you're interested in these types of videos. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.